Dominique, Nika, Nika, s'en allait tout simplement au Dieu, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Dear brothers and sisters, I should now be on holiday, but I had to come back because some people think that now everything is allowed. And people who don't understand the Catholic logic. On the last press release, many questions remained open, and these questions are coming mostly from our S&M community. So I try to have some clarifications for our fetishes because some practices are still banned. So let's see what the encyclica says about it. Mazo mazo relations and sado sado relations are a unnatural form of coexistence. Those are unnatural sex practices and are against God's will. The only accepted form of a fetishistic living together is the traditional sado-maso relation. Our Lord has intentionally created sadist and masochist to be an harmonic complement. In the encyclica called Contra Maso Masonem et Sado Sadonem, our Pope gave also some practical arguments against the same fetishist love. Our eminent authority in sex questions, Pope Benedict XVI, says Love between two masochists must fail because no one wants to punish the other and so both of them will be unhappy. A sadist couple is formed of two dominant parts, and those would punish and beat each other the whole day and would never come to peace. Therefore, the Pope appeals to our politicians to protect the natural heterofetishistic sado-maso relations and to give this kind of relation a special protection. Please don't believe those church critics who condemn this encyclica as hypocritical. It's not true that under Catholic priest an overwhelming majority is bi-fetishist. Our proof for this is the sadism of most of the altar boys and the masochism called celibacy of our priests. I hope I could help you to clarify the Vatican's positions. This was Brother Dominic, caress you and thank you very much.